Hello again. We'll be looking at a particular class of trigonometric equations that can be solved using a, a rather clever technique that allows us to compare it to a second degree equation. So let's uh, take a look at the equation we'll be doing this to. And you haven't seen this before, so just try to keep up with what I'm doing and try to follow the steps. And later it will it'll become evident what I'm doing. So that's what we're going to try and solve. So what we need to do first is uh, rearrange this into a form that allows us to use the second degree equivalents. So let's do that. I'm going to be dividing each term by cosine squared of x. OK, so let's get that started. Now you can see I've, I've decided to do this. We're going to divide each thing by that. And that's why I put in a color. And then we just have to be sure that cosine squared x is not 0. All right. Now this will be able to get converted into tangent squared of x when we're done. And this one here, you'll see that the top and the bottom there get uh, taken out and just the two remains. And then this one, the one cosine there will take out the other, leaving one, because this was cosine squared. And then what's left will be the tangent of x. OK, so let's, let's do that, and we'll clean it up. And then I'm, gonna, I'm going to rearrange it when I'm done so that we have the right side equal to 0. So I'll just move that one term to the left side. OK, so now we've cleaned it up. We have sine divided by cosine is tangent and it's squared so that's why we have this the two that came from that term and now sine divided by cosine there is tangent and now i'm going to take this and i'm going to move it to the other side and then we have something that is starting to look familiar we have a squared term we have a uh, a non-squared term but still an x involved and then just a pure number so we're going to take the tangent x equals t and substitute it in for each place there's a tangent there. And when we do that, we get something familiar. This, you would probably be able to just solve right in your, your head by looking at it. You could either factor it, use the PQ formula, or the universal quadratic formula. But that, that seems like overkill when it's, when it's this simple. So let's, let's go ahead and solve it. And we get minus 1 and 2. Now, we're going to use those to try to find a place in the unit circle where tangent has that value. So in other words, what we're going to try and do is go to the unit circle and say when the tangent of the 1x is negative 1, and then we'll, we'll just try to say, OK, this tangent gives us that. So that's what we're looking for, those degrees, if you want. And the other one when tangent has a value of 2. Okay? But in order to do that, we're going to have to consult the unit circle. And the unit circle that I've chosen is the one that is just shows the sine and cosine. But since we know that sine divided by cosine is tangent, then it's going to be really simple to just, in our head, find at least the first one. That's going to be easy. The other one, we can make a, a kind of an estimate and then use our calculator to, to know what we're looking for. OK, so let's, let's take a look at the unit circle. Now, minus 1 is something that we're looking for uh, and when it's the tangent of some angle. Now, we can see when sine divided by cosine has a value of minus 1 here, it's, it's going to be th the one divided by the other. See, we have. We have our, our sine and our cosine there. And then over here, we also have two of the same value, but one's positive, one's negative. So when they divide each other, you get negative 1. So we would expect a 135 there. And then with the other one, we're going to, mm, because of the, you could guess it's going to be somewhere around there and somewhere around there. But we'll need to use the calculator for that. But we expect it to be a little bigger than 60. Uh, and then uh, conjure that down, down here as well. Because you know with tangents, it has a periodicity that is 180 degrees or pi. All right. So now we know the 1 anyway. We know it at 135, we're, we're going to have one of our answers. So let's, let's go take a look at this one and see how the solution pans out. For this one here, 
we're going to get the solution just like we did with uh, the, the uh, graphs. We're, we're going to have all the solutions at once. So certainly we're going to have 135 and then we'll say every time we come back we're going to have uh, a, a new one. So we go around the block and we go around the block and we go around the block and then we get our answer every time. We'll get the, the minus one there. And for the other one, you just use your calculator, take the arctan or the inverse tangent of two and you'll be able to get this. And then of course, go around the block as many times as you want. Of course, with the unit circle, going around the block in the case of the tangent means that you're going, uh, you count it every 180 degrees instead of the other. But we expect to get to two places that fulfill the answer. So we expect this and we expect uh, the other one right over right over there. There it was. Okay. So that being said, when we have our tangent, let me just get my pen up again. Okay. And we, we have the final solution. You just ring it into to the box and say all the solutions are there and there. And like with the 135, remember that the, the 135 was in the second quadrant. And then 180 degrees later, you get, let me just take one quick look. 180 degrees later, you end up over on the other side. Okay, you end up right over here. Okay, so no matter how many times you go around the circle, every 180 degrees, you're going to pass the, the place that is the answer. Okay, all right, hope that helps. See you next time.